share a story top tips from author and poet Michael Rosen. I think if you really want people to like a story, there should be at least one gasp moment. Now, a gasp moment can be where you're terrified or that it's incredibly funny or it's very, very mysterious, but there's got to be that element of surprise where either you really go, <gasps> or you do it in your mind. So if you can get that in a story, you're onto a winner. If you're interested in writing, the best thing to do is to note down the ideas that you have as you're reading. And the other thing is do the same when you're listening to people talking and telling stories from real life. You know, when people get together on a Sunday and they're chatting about a funny thing happened to me this week, you'll never guess. Listen to it. Make a note of it. That's your source of inspiration. I've forgotten so many things, it makes me really angry that I've lost them. So you must keep hold of them. And then when you're sitting thinking of stories, you can grab that stuff, you can go through your notes and put them in the stories, and the stories will be so much better for it. Writers can never decide which is best, whether to plan the whole thing right the way through or to let yourself be surprised by the very thing that you're writing. I'm of the school that likes to be surprised. So some people like to plan, I don't. I like to have a bit of planning from the beginning. I want to have a good idea and then I want to keep surprising myself because if I'm surprised, I think the reader will be too. So if I'm going to take my characters into a great big spooky house, how are they going to get out? I don't know. I've got to solve it. And if I can solve it, well, that will be part of the fun for the reader. Share a story closes 6pm on Friday the 1st of May.